All right, we're gonna set up the Garmin Zero for radar system for trap shooting. I'm gonna start by turning this machine on. The power button's down here right to the left underneath the X. Get a green button in the bottom right hand side of the screen. We'll select trap mode. I'm gonna shoot practice and we're gonna shoot a standard load. At this point now we need to uh, set up the profile. Location doesn't really matter. Gun profile, I'm gonna set up the gun profile. I'm gonna add a gun. I'm gonna edit it. It's a 12 gauge shotgun or you can select a 20 gauge, 28, 24. We're gonna shoot a 12 gauge shotgun today. The choke, I'm gonna select that. All the different chokes. This gun has an improved modified choke in it. Barrel length is going to be 30 inches. Select the green check mark in the top right. The ammunition name we don't really need. Shot shell length 22 and 3 quarters. The shot size you select that by uh, selecting it there. We're shooting number 8 shot. Ounce and an eighth. You can see where you can change your shot size. Ounce and an eighth, one ounce. Shooting one ounce and an eighth and it's lead material. Once you're complete, you're going to press the check mark in the top right button. And then we're going to activate the gun profile. Back here, we got the gun. Display mode, we want full details. The clay color is orange. Any notes if you want to put something in there, then you're going to select the green check mark again. Once again, it goes back through there, make sure everything's still the same and the green check mark. We're shooting, if you're shooting a handicap type style, you can select the yardage you're shooting your hand, your uh, event at. We're shooting 16 yards, check mark. And now we're gonna select the position of where the shooter starts. All right, so, so now we're back out on the trap field. We're ready to go. We're gonna select the green check mark, 16 yards. The shooter is going to start in position five. It doesn't matter which position you start in. You just have to select where the position they're going to start. So we're going to start at position five. I'm going to hit the check mark. Now it's going to give us right here in the top. Underneath the machine is the little uh, release for the tripod. We're going to get the trap house centered in the little white square with the top of the arrow at the center of the house. And the machine in with the bubble within the deal there. Once that's done, you're gonna select the green check mark. The machine's gonna tell you it's not ready. Now it's waiting for the shot. You can have a full five shooters up here shooting, and when the shooter at this position shoots over the machine, it'll track their own, their, it'll be the only shot tracked. So if you're shooting by yourself, you need to wait each time for the waiting for shot uh, entry. Machine cycled, shows us our uh, shoot. Now it's ready for the next shot. He'll shoot and we'll record that one also. Oh. Give us reaction time, miss the target six inches above it. We're gonna do that through all five shots and at the end we'll move the machine. All right, we finished that round. We're gonna to move to the next station. All right, we've moved to station one. We're gonna select the check mark. We're now gonna start the trap house on the machine. And the machine's level. Select the check mark. Not ready. Waiting for the shot. The shooter's going to shoot all five of his shells. We'll get the, uh, the uh, indication to move for the next one. All right, so now it gives us the point where it's a time to change your station. It tells us we're going to go to station one. 
We gotta pick the machine up and move over there. All right, so this one had an error in the uh, shot process. We didn't pick up one of the shells. So at this point, we're ready to move. We're gonna hit the edit button. Gonna add the shot. He had a clean break. Ready? We're gonna select a new position up here. We're gonna change the station. Pick up the machine and we'll move it. Shooter on the left has to wait for the garment to come up before he can shoot. Oh. Oh. So the round is over the shooter. You notice the score in the bottom right here says 17 out of 23. The machine did not pick up two of the, two of the uh, shots that were made. So if that's the case and the round is over, press the pencil on the top button there and then you can um, either reshoot the shots, you can add them in, or you can just exit the round. We're gonna end the round. And here's our scores. We'll go inside where it's quiet and go over the uh, scorecard. Yeah. All right, so our our session is over, and the break factor is going to it's going to come up and give us a round count. Seventeen hit the the individual hit seventeen out of twenty three targets. Garmin has a scoring system to give you a break factor type score. So a miss uh, is zero points. Uh, kind of a, a chip is one. A good break is three and a smash factor of four points uh, for that. Over here on the left, it's showing our misses and our hits, and if it was a smash or a chip. And then we've got the two rounds right there that are uh, that we missed the targets. We could take the talk, and then one of the nice things with this, you could take your cell phone and take a picture of that one. We hit the down arrow, now it's gonna give us an accuracy summary. All right, so in this accuracy summary, if we start here at the top, these are the first five rounds in the sh at the shooter's uh, station, which was post five. The one here, he did hit the target. We get an X. It shows that the center of the shot pattern was 17 inches left of the clay target, which if you look over here is indicated by that little green X right there in the bottom left of the corner. His second shot was a miss or was a, a hit dead on that's indicated by the little circle here in the center of the target shot number two or this third shot here he was the center of his shot pattern was two inches to the left indicated by the little green X here on the on the clay target and his two misses indicates his shot pattern was 26 inches to the left and 33 inches left and high which are indicated by the zeros here on his on the uh, shot pattern score and it gives us a, uh, an average of where the shot pattern was for the hits and the misses. You can see here we lost those two. We shot too fast outside the, uh, the garment so it wouldn't uh, take it up. So looking at this accuracy summary throughout the shot sequence, we can see the shooter over here on the left, on this right side, the shooter is predominantly shooting to the left of his target. 
which we would make a adjustment to the gun or his mount or their mount to get him to move to the right. Get that eye over to the right. We move that rear sight, our, our eye, just like we would move the rear sight. Or if they're shooting high or low, we'd shoot it, make a comb adjustment or a rib adjustment with that. Go to the next uh, screen in here. We get the reaction uh, time and shot speed. So we can see that uh, the hard left's average reaction time was a 0.7. Center straightaway is a 0.72. And if you hit the little arrow there, it'll take you through the rest of the shot sequences as they go there. And it shows your misses were 0.68. So he was under, he shot a lot faster on that uh, center target that he missed right there. And then it shows the average down here in the bottom. Also gives us some shot speed and uh, minimum and maximum shot speeds if you're looking at reloads or uh, how, you know, how close you are to your factory loads. These were supposed to be 11, 11, 1145 feet per second uh, factory shells, Federals. And then it gives us a clay angle, the hard lefts, the lefts, the centers, the rights, and the hard rights, how many, how many the shooter got for that. Uh, that round and again gives us the shot pattern for the uh, for the round and like I said all these pictures all these uh, uh, screens you can uh, screenshot from your phone and then take them with you and use them for later diagnostics there is an app through Garmin Zero that you can use to download this if you want to save the round of the machine you can save the round we're not going to save this round here we're going to discard the data yep so if you did have a phone you can pair your phone to the machine. You're looking for the device zero, and what it does is uh, we'll record all that right to your phone. So you pair your phone to the machine, shoot your round, and then you can uh, save that data to your phone at the end. And that is how to use the Garmin Zero. Garmin Zero can be paired to any smartphone. You need to go to the uh, Apple iTunes or the Google Play Store and download the Garmin Zero app. It looks like uh, this one right here, Garmin Zero S. Once you get it downloaded, you're going to select the Garmin Zero. Up in the top of your, your screen, you're going to select the Garmin. Grand Forks Gun Club, we've got two of them here already. I haven't connected to this one before, so I'm going to select the added device. I'm going to start searching and once it's connected we got the green we're going to connect the smartphone it's going to give us a pin we're going to add in the pin there wait for the Garmin app to complete the setup all right once it's set up we'll finish Here we go. So we are now connected to this trap. This uh, phone is connected to this uh, Garmin here. We go into trap mode, and once we're done, this all this data will be transferred back to our Bluetooth via Bluetooth to our phone for saving. What it'll do is it's going to give you a score of what was done on this uh, machine or what you just did. This is a different shooter's here information. It's gonna give us our shot pattern, our reaction times, just like on the machine itself. The duration, the gun that was used, the choke that was used, shot size, how many targets, and targets per station at the 16 yard gives us our charts as the other uh, just as the machine did itself we go through gives us our break factor gives us an overview of where our shots uh, was in relation to the uh, target itself like I said this was another shooters uh, information that uh, paired up to my phone here And that is the overview of what you get saved on the Garmin Zero S app.